Okay, here's a little project that I'm working on now. Um, I went through so many of the YouTube videos. Oh my God. But a ton of videos out there about how many rivets to put in, where to put them in, one, two, three, or a hundred. Um, but I think that after, you know, really looking at a bunch of videos and more importantly, looking at the symbol that I have, each symbol's different and each person playing, uh, each, each person's style is going to be a little bit different in terms of how they approach the symbol, how they attack the symbol. Um, do they bring the sounds out or do they just drive the sound through the symbol? So it depends what you're using it for. This particular symbol is an 18 inch K dark crash medium thin 18 inch uh, Zilton K series. Um, it's, it's a nice symbol, but um, for crashing, I just not, like I said, I try not to look at the labels on the symbols. I don't even pay attention to that as far as it being, quote, a dark crash, medium thin. You know, it depends what kind of sticks you're using, how you play the symbol, and to, as to what you can bring out of that symbol. So what I'm going to do, I still feel the symbol by, in itself. It actually could be used for a ride symbol or at least a left ride. And I'll show you that in a second, but the purpose of this particular video is going to be before and after. This right now is with zero rivets, and I'm going to play a couple of simple beats, and then I'm going to add one rivet, and then two, and then I think three is where I'm going to land on this, but that's just me guessing. And I'm going to put them at the 12, the 6, and the uh, 3 position. So that's how I'm going to lay these three symbol rivets out. But uh, let me go ahead and play a little bit with the stick and, uh, and uh, we will go with a comparison. Okay, here's the K Dark Medium Crash with just one rivet. You see it right there. Okay.
Okay, on a mass. Okay, now I've added the second rivet. I've got one up there. I've got one over here, right there. And I'm gonna see the difference. My apologies for this ridiculous video. Terrible, sorry. Uh, here we go, I'm gonna play a little bit, add a little bit of a uh, flash to that. But anyway, here's the second rivet. Once again, the key is I'm, I'm trying to add this one at a time because I'm not sure what it's going to take to make this symbol play the way that, or rather resonate the way I want it to. It's, it's basically an 18 inch dark crash, uh, medium thin uh, K, a beautiful symbol, but I just don't like it as a crash symbol. It's a little too heavy and it doesn't uh, punctuate the way, the way I prefer it to. So I'm adding now the second rivet and see what it sounds like. the shop okay this is the last one I put now one two now I'm going into the third rivet here uh, what I wanted to show you is I used a small pilot where is that here it is I use a small pilot just to get the first initial hole in so you're not trying to go all let me take the flash off Okay, um, so I've used this right here just to show you a small pile of hole that I've used to get this going. Uh, you don't want to go with a large drill bit first. You want to go with a smaller one. I'm going to show you this right on my drill bit here. So you want to start with something smaller. My apologies. I am a complete rookie at this video. Sorry. So anyway, small pilot hole and then go with a larger one. Make sure you use titanium. A very good drill, but you don't want to use a cheap uh, drill bit to do this because symbols are also oh precious. Would you not agree? So here's the third ribbon I'm about to do. What's nice about the pilot hole? It's it's going to prevent you from going all over the place and really scratching your symbol up. So you ever have the pilot hole there? Let me just go for this bad boy. it up a little bit too and then put the last uh, ribbon in for right now okay now the third ribbet which I just put in probably can't tell a difference but anyway let's see what it, it sounds like <laughs> 